welcome to the make chair so today we are doing a kind of um, sexy um, date look that's kind of what this is it was requested so I really hope that you enjoy this um, I know I've already done my foundation a little bit of powder um, and concealing all that kind of stuff I'm gonna have a link to the videos that I've already done that in just to save time so this video is primarily the eye makeup a little bit of on what I used on my cheeks and stuff and then um, the lips as well so if you're interested in that then just keep watching okay, so I've already done one eye and we're going to go on and we're going to do the other one um, so I'm going to take a little bit of my um, eyeshadow primer potion I already had concealer and a little bit of powder of my eyelids already um, so this is just a little extra base okay I'm going to be using ELF's Beauty Encyclopedia the eyes one but it's just these kind of brown brown colors you can do smoky eye with this palette um, I'm going to be using mostly the brown shades so I'm going to be using this brown, these two um, and this one right here which looks kind of like off creamy white kind of thing and then the white up there as well so I'm first of all going to take um, a little bit of the white I'm just going to dab this in the inner part of the eye like this and a little bit underneath I'm going to be taking this color right here which is like a cream it's got a little bit of um, shimmer in it which I'm not a huge fan of shimmer but there's not actually too much now you only need a very small amount of this product because it spreads really well and it's very concentrated so I'm just gonna put this on the rest of the lid this all over the lid I'm actually going over that white as well but it's still a little bit brighter in the inner part of the eye than the outer part and then we're going to do the dark kind of darkness. So we're going to start off with the brown. You only need a very small amount of this because it just, as I said, it goes like really long way. So I'm just going to place this in the outer part of the eye like this. I'm going to slowly start to move up. So I'm covering that whole outer part of portion of the eye. So it's about a third. So if you split your eye into thirds, you have the inner third, you have the middle, and then you have the outer third. So I'm just going to do the outer third first of all and then I'm going to slowly bring it up up here like this and it's going above the center or the um, middle the, the second third so it's just going up into the crease which is this line that's created from your socket and take a little bit more of that brown and just tap it in I'm only using the very small amount each time so I can slowly build up the color rather than putting too much on and then have to blend a lot of it away. So we're going to take the darker of the browns, if I can find it, it's right there. A little tiny amount of that. Once again, you're placing this on the outer third and it's adding a little bit more depth to the brown. Then I'm going to slowly work it up again, but I'm not going to blend out. I'm not going to keep blending out. I'm going to keep it concentrated on that outer third rather than bringing it up here or anything like that. Um, this is just to add some depth into the socket and then if you want to blend any of the color you want to blend the first brown and then leave the, the, the dark dark um, kind of chocolate brown there. And to help us blend away I'm going to be taking this shade right here, kind of like a caramel color. And I'm using this just out, out here just outside of that, that first brown that we had. A slightly lighter brown and this is just going to help that brown to, to blend so we're just going to slowly very light handed we're just going to blend this up okay, so I want a little bit more brown on the actual lid so we're going to take that first brown that we had that one right there the kind of chocolatey brown we're going to place this in the center of the eye like so and we're just going to slowly blend this downwards like this just very gently I'm not going to rub it or anything like that I'm just tapping it away and then I'm going to blend it back again over here and take a little bit more of that darker brown and just tap it on the outer third again just because a lot of it's about building up the color um, as you know as long as you don't try and put too much on at the start it's better to build slowly Okay, so next we're going to take a small angle brush. This is Elf's um, small angle brush. <laughs> That's what it's called. And we are going to take that dark brown. So 
I'm going to show you guys again. I'm going to take the darker brown, this one right here. Take a little bit of that onto the angled brush. Not too much. Take a little bit. And you're going to put this right underneath the lashes. So to scoop the lashes up and then you're going to place it under here like this. Now try and tap off the brush first of all so you don't get too much fallout. Then you're going to slowly press it in like that. Keep right up to the lash line. Bring it slowly inwards. Stopping about, you know, just where the lashes kind of stop. So like your, my last la lash is probably right there. So just bring it in as far as them. And you don't want to skip out on that outer third either, so I'm just going to take a little bit on the outer third again. Just under here, just so it's matching up that outer third. Now if you want to do, you could put the black liner on your um, waterline. However, I want to brighten up the look a little bit because it's a little bit dark. So I'm going to be taking a white pencil. Looks like this. And this is by Essence. But a lot of brands actually have this. I'm going to do my waterline with this instead. Now if you feel like the white is a little bit too intense for you, you could try um, the beige ones, um, the nearly white ones. They work really well as well. Okay, next you want to curl your um, eyelashes, then add lots and lots of mascara. I'm using um, Rimmel's Max Volume Flash, the pink one, and this is in um, Ultra Black. Next we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to be using e.l.f. Um, lip Primer and Plumper. Looks like this. One side it's cut this kind of primer um, shade for kind of blurring out your lips. And the other side is a cinnamon based um, lip plumper. So you first let you put this on. It kind of plumps up your lips a little bit. And prime side. I'm just going to put that over the lips. I line my lips with, um, this is an Art Deco number 19 waterproof looks like that it's just any type of nude color nude flesh kind of color you want to do the cupid's bow like this then you want to come up from the um, outer part and bring it bring it in to the center The same underneath. And I'm gonna fill in, because I want this to be really long lasting, I'm gonna fill in the whole lips with this pencil. Then I'm gonna be using the matching um, Art Deco gloss. This is in 30, so it's just a nude shade. Any type of nude lip gloss is totally fine. And this is also, doesn't have any shimmer or pearl or anything like that. It's just kind of a flat shade. Just to add a finish touch to the look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, this is the e.l.f. the Beauty Encyclopedia face. I'm going to be taking the um, blush, take a little bit of the blush, smile, get the apples. Take the bronzer, just do underneath. I've already done a little bit of this, but I'm just going to show you guys what I did anyway. also do this on the side of the forehead. If you have kind of a broad forehead this will kind of make it look a little bit kind of smaller and if you have a high forehead like I do you can do the top which actually shorten the forehead but then you also want to make sure that you um, really blend the lines away so it doesn't look too harsh. Make sure you get right up to the hairline as well. So there you go, that's the finished look. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can ask me on here, you can ask me on Form Spring, or you can ask me on Facebook. The links to all those things are going to be in the box below, as well as the name and shade of all the products that I've used. So I really hope that you enjoyed this look. Um, I'm Shania Katie. Thanks for watching.